Hi, this is Shumi from Overdrive and what you're looking at is a guy standing behind the Duke 200. No, actually this video is about the Duke 200. That's the motorcycle. I'm not going close because there are a couple of TV crews we are still shooting the motorcycle. As you've read in Overdrive and seen on our website, we have ridden this motorcycle and we are fairly, fairly impressed with this motorcycle. And today the price is out. This is going to cost you 1,17,500 ex showroom Delhi. Bajaj is saying it's an introductory price, so we don't know how long the price will stay at that point before it goes up slightly. But for what it is, it is an awesome price. About the motorcycle, as you can see, very very typical KTM lines, very edgy, very sharp, not really too many curves on the motorcycle, very minimalistic, especially at the rear end there. Uh, also, fat wheels, uh, 150 section rear there, it's a very interesting sari guard that they've built there. As you can see the swing arm is externally braced. I am a little concerned about Indian conditions and the external bracing on the swing arm because once it gets dirty, it is going to be a bit of a hard thing to clean. Just to show you an example, that's how deep the bracing goes, if you look inside. That's quite a way inside that the bracing goes and I'm not sure uh, how easy it will be to clean but those are minor issues. The big thing is that that engine and it looks very complicated from this side and very big from the other side is a bit of a monster. It likes to rev, it revs up to the red line very very fast, produces a lot of torque along the way and this is a very fast motorcycle which you enjoy a little more because it seems to have almost no weight. Uh, Bajaj claim uh, some 120 something kilos dry weight, 135 something curb and on the move you don't really feel it. Uh, that is the radiator shroud there. That's the routing of the exhaust. As you can see that black box there just ahead of the suspension, that's the exhaust kit that goes down and it comes out on the other side. I'm going to go to the other side, so it's going to shake a little bit. So just give me a moment. Hold on please. So if you look there, that's the WP shock. Uh, traditional KTM thing is to have a white uh, mono shock and that is the stubby exhaust that comes out under the swing arm. As you can see, that's the swing arm. That's the hole I was talking about. That's how deep these things go. That's the stubby exhaust. Now this side, if you look, it's a very large looking engine which fills out the trellis frame very nicely. As you can see, it's a great trellis frame which opens the opportunity for an R version later with an orange trellis frame with maybe a couple of BHP more. I'd certainly love that. The bike is on, so I'll just show you the meters. It's an all digital set. Right on top, if you can look at the dots, that's the rev counter. It, the, the LEDs, the LCD will, uh, will show you black bars as they run across uh, the frame there. And uh, it's a very neat, simple uh, digital console which in sunlight we found works really, really well. Just coming down the upside down forks, there they are. On the other side is the disc and a very nice split spoke wheel. Overall, it's a well-built motorcycle that looks really good and I'm really excited to have it here. I'm going to try later to start this bike and show you what it sounds like if I get the opportunity. Here's the headlamp and this is Shumi signing out. Hi, Shumi from Overdrive and with me is Mr. Stefan Pera who heads uh, KTM. Welcome to India. Your first product uh, being launched today. Yeah. How excited are you? I'm very excited, I'm very proud, it's a great honor to launch such a, a good product in the biggest motorcycle market in And the world. how has the experience of developing products with Bajaj together been for you? It's an outstanding experience. In the beginning I was very, very positive, but the outcome is much ahead of everything what I have expected. And you told us today that there are lots more products from these platforms coming to India. Would you tell our readers uh, what products you're talking about specifically? Uh, the next one is, uh, is KTM is a race uh, brand, it's a full fared version. We call it Moto3. We're going already this year on the MotoGP racetrack with this new bike and that looks very similar to the upcoming model which is homologated. And then the third version is also coming which is uh, basically a mixture between uh, Enduro and Supermoto. Okay. A classic type of KTM okay. and also the big displacement 350 is coming. Okay. And that will also come in these three forms eventually? Yes. And, but the 125 is just too expensive to the bring to India? The 125 is so far uh, uh, focused on Europe and Japan, but if there is a certain demand, the, the bike is ready. Sure. Yeah. And th that goes for your bigger displacement products as well, the 690 Duke, the RC8 Super Duke. Yeah, yeah. So when do you think the Indian upper end of the market will be ready to accept CBUs as a you know, not matter of course? Yeah, it's depending on some uh, trade negotiations between uh, European Union and, and, and the India. Uh, yeah, let's see. But for the next two, three years, I don't expect it. After that, you think there will be yeah, maybe a threshold? As soon, usually it's like that. If exporting is becoming that important, then uh, the nation has to arrange with one or the other area. Right. So that's the experience what we have in Europe. Okay. 
Uh, Cyril Dupre just won the Dakar. You're a very, very happy to be in motorsport brand. Your tagline is ready to race. Indian motorsport, especially motorcycle-wise, on the other hand, is a little backward, if I may say so. Up uh, to now. Up to now. But so, if you uh, driving through the cities, you can see already very fast riding. Yes. yes so. Yes. So is KTM going to bring a one make series like the Super Duke battle or something to India? Yeah, we are thinking about some uh, support in that for next year. Uh, originally, we, we it's Kia Motocross, it's our backbone sure. for how can we support the, the, the Indian Motocross Championship. Or, right. But on-road racing, we are thinking about. Hopefully, okay. we can convince the promoter of the MotoGP to come to India for a race. Sure. Uh, let's go back to the dirt bikes. You are a brand that began with dirt bikes. Yeah. You're famous for them and you make some amazing dirt bikes. Yeah. From kids' motorcycles to big ones. When do you think the Indian dirt bike market sort of will appear or will you have to push it to appear? Because our conditions are right for dirt bikes, but so far we've not picked up dirt bikes. Yeah, that was uh, when I came the first time to India. I was really surprised that uh, conditions are perfect for off road. Right. But no off-road bikes. Right. Yeah. If you maybe if you have a, a sooner or later it becomes popular. But Charge is a very strong company. Sure. They can influence the market. So can you? I mean, you're a very powerful brand, even yeah. if you're not, not together with Bajaj. Let's see. So you think dirt bikes are in our n near future? Uh, in my opinion, yes, because the conditions are perfect for off-road bikes. Sure. Have you ridden a bike in India yet? Not yet in India. What do you ride back in Austria? Yeah, off-road. You ride off-road? Yeah. What's your favorite off-road KTM? Yeah, it's, 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 I would say it's a 350 because that's okay. the right mixture. The free ride or the... Or the uh, uh, that's the new one, the right. old 350, but the new free ride is a perfect one because it's the seat height, yes. uh, power, power curve. No, we have somebody on Twitter already asking us during yeah. the press conference, is KTM bringing the free ride 350 to India? Which the is 350, right. you're right, that could be a, a good model for, as a first try for the Indian market. And are you, so, are you going to start thinking about that now? Yeah, yeah, but we have so, so many things on the table. Keep focus on the priorities. Sure, sure. Thank you so much.